Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to show you how to rip a CD, a music CD, on your computer using Windows Media Player in Windows 8.1. One of the many features of Windows is the fact that you've got a media player that's included which is Windows Media 12 and you can of course listen to CDs and watch movies but you can also rip those CDs into your computer it's always a little drag to you know always insert your favorite CD to listen to music so why not rip it or extract that music on your computer so that you can play it without having to uh, take that CD and put it in your drive every time you want so how do you do that? Well, first of all, of course, you'll need a CD DVD drive on your computer. Um, a lot of computers today don't have such a um, uh, device, but you can buy an external USB one. If you have many, many CDs to actually uh, extract onto your computer, you can buy an external CD DVD drive. Uh, for example, the Surface Pro tablet does not have dr a drive or a lot of very uh, small laptops do not have drives also. So how do you extract those CDs on your computer? Well first of all you'll take your CD and insert it in your drive. Two things can happen on some computers. You'll see that like I have here on my upper right side of my screen, tap to choose what happens to an audio CD. Or maybe you have inserted the drive, the CD in the drive and nothing happens. It doesn't really matter. The way I'm going to show you how to do it, uh, it doesn't matter if it doesn't pop up anything. Um, once you've inserted your music CD, what you'll do, you'll ignore that message right there on the upper right side if you have it. And if you don't have that message, well, what I'm going to show you now will probably work uh, unless your drive is defective go into the charms bar on the right side of the screen either by swiping or by going into the corners if you don't have a touch screen click the search and there you'll type windows media and the first thing that's going to pop up in that search windows media player click there now look on the left side panel of the media player you should see the cd show up there you'll should you should see normally either the artist or the title of the album this that i've inserted now is a um, greatest hits from the simple minds if you look on the left side i've got one called glittering prize which is the title of the album if you click there you should see the uh, cd show up and you should see all the tracks so first of all, if you don't want to have all the tracks, you can select which ones you want, which ones you don't, just by uh, either removing or putting check marks next to what you want to have import into your computer. One thing that can happen also is that if your CD, the CD that you inserted is a um, CD that's been um, copied by someone else, maybe you have that CD and it's a, a collection of... Uh, mp3s or a collection of an audio CD collection made by someone else it might actually say untitled album or you know something that looks like that because it cannot check for the um, album information and the album art only uh, bought CDs usually work well with album art and even then a lot of albums if you like um, you know if you like pop, rock, or uh, really mainstream music, there's no problem usually. But if you like some um, specialized kind of music, a lot of the albums aren't actually in the database. So it might say unknown album, by the way. Once you've selected what you want to keep and what you don't want, the other thing that you might want to do is change the format. By default, if you don't do anything, media player stores the music in um, a WMA, which is the media Windows Media Audio Format. You might not want that because, um, yes, in your computer it's, it's fine and it's okay, but the problem is on a lot of devices, for example, if you have an MP3 player, uh, not all MP3 players will play Windows Media Audio. 
So you might want to actually make sure that the ripping goes into MP3s. So on the top of the window for Windows Media Player, you'll see RIP CD, but right next to it, it says RIP Settings. Click the little arrow there and go into Format. Make sure that you've selected MP3. That's the best way to make sure. So make sure you have a little check mark next to MP3. MP3 is really the format for audio and every devices can um, play MP3 files. Under it, you also have audio quality. You have uh, 128 kilobits and you can of course rip a little higher if you want to have the best quality. Now, the higher the quality, the bigger the files. So if you have a lot of space and if it's okay, then you can put it at 320 kilobits. Personally, I think it's too much. If you have a MP3 player and it has only two for two gigs of RAM, for example, then don't rip it at a very high rate because you won't be able to put a lot of uh, uh, songs onto it because the files will be too big. So I suggest often uh, what I like, I'll put it at 192. It's kind of a compromise and I don't personally think that having a quality better than 192 kilobits is really noticeable for 99% uh, of what people will do with that music. And don't forget that if you've got an MP3 player, a iPod, uh, the audio quality of these devices is not up to par with the quality of these settings here. So uh, even though they play well, they're not extraordinary devices in the audio quality department. They're okay. Nothing more than that in usually. So uh, unless you have a really, really high-end system. And people with high-end systems, by the way, usually don't even like MP3s because they, uh, they sound bad for them. So uh, a compromise, but 128 will be fine also for a lot of people. So if you want, you're, you're uh, you know, worrying about size and the, the amount of um, music you can put on your player or on your computer, then just leave it at 128. It's, I think it's quite okay. So personally, I'll choose 192. And after that is done, all you'll have to do is click RIP CD. So you click there. And you should hear your drive start up and you should see that the uh, ripping is going to start. So you should see this little progression. You see here on my screen, uh, the uh, first song is being ripped here. And at the bottom right, you have info. It says ripping 16 tracks. That's like uh, flashing, ripping 16 tracks remaining. So uh, you leave it at this option and you see that it's ripping. So it's going to rip all the ones that have little check marks on the left side. As you see, it's quite easy to do. Now, where does that music go when it's being ripped? It is going into your computer in the music library or the music folder. If you go on the bottom left here, I have a uh, file out file explorer icon or if you don't have it you can go into the charms bar and type file explorer file explorer and click there and if you click into music you will see that your music is there i have simple minds this folder called simple minds right here so this is the one being sent glittering ring prize so um, media player always puts its music in a artist folder and then it has the album or the CD name inside that folder. And it's nice because if you have, for example, three or four CDs from a same artist, uh, they're all going to be into the same folder of the artist name with the different names of the uh, CDs. One uh, word of caution about the names, if of course your CD is unknown, then what it is going to do is actually going to rip it onto an unknown folder with the date 
on it. So for example, today we are February 3rd, 2014. If I would rip a unknown CD, it would put it onto unknown artist, February 3rd, 2014. And you can rename it yourself if you want afterwards. Uh, there's no problem with that. So that's pretty much how you rip a CD uh, into Windows Media Player. It's quite an easy task, as you see here. Uh, it's quite fast also, uh, depending on the drive speed. Uh, usually ripping a CD does not take more than five minutes, maybe. Uh, it goes quite fast. A lot of people think that, you know, um, because of the audio format, you have to wait um, the full length of the CD. So if the CD lasts, I don't know, 60 minutes or uh, 50 minutes, people think, uh, often think that you have to wait 50 or 60 minutes to rip a CD, which is not the case. CDs are digital, so it's only zeros and one. The speed is the speed of your drive and if the also the quality of your CD. So if your CD is scratched, it might, be, it might, might, might go actually a lot slower uh, if it's really nice or brand new. One last little info about ripping CDs. There aren't many of them and I personally never, never had one here. But I have seen on some people's computers CDs that have a kind of a lock protection and that little protection will actually tell Windows Media Player hey you cannot rip this CD and so either it's going to do an error message or I actually have seen Media Player tell me uh, at a friend's house uh, well you cannot rip this CD you're not allowed but I haven't seen much of those and uh, I don't think there are many out there that are like that the ones that I've seen with that protection seem all to come from Sony Music. Um, my friend that had one like that was a uh, Celine Dion artist uh, from Sony Music. So um, I think it's only Sony Music that does that. And uh, once it's uh, ripped, well, you've got a new album and uh, you can listen to it. Just remember where it is in your music library and of course if you look on the left side of your screen I'm gonna wait here till it's uh, finished once it's extracted you can remove the CD from the drive by the way so here it's almost finished and here it goes now I can remove the CD so that's what I'm gonna do and where is it located now that we have extracted the music, if we go into music on the left side of the screen, you should see the uh, different albums. And the one that I have important is there. You see Glittering Prize is there part of these albums uh, on my computer. So um, you have all you have to do is just click there. And uh, on the uh, first song or the one you want to play, you just you know double click and it's going to start playing it. Or you click the uh, little play button at the, the bottom and um, it's gonna play it in the order that you see here so that's how you rip a CD it's very easy and this is the uh, pretty much the uh, best way to do it if you uh, have a computer because a lot of people complain that sometimes they put CDs and there's no automatic start so this is the, the way to do it whether or not you have that automatic start at least this is the way that you can do it, that it works all the time. If you can't see your CD in a Windows Media Player, then it means that either your CD DVD drive is um, not working well, maybe it needs cleaning, or maybe the CD you have inserted has too many scratches and it cannot be read. Uh, so um, this is really the best way to do it. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you do, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. And uh, by subscribing to our channel, you will be notified every time we have videos. So why not subscribe and enjoy our channel to uh, you know learn more and more on how to use your Windows 8 machine. 
Maybe you're planning to buy a new computer, a little scared that Windows 8 is going to be on it. Well, why not check the videos on this channel? They're going to help you learn more and more on how to use Windows 8. And hopefully you enjoy videos and welcome back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.